so we just rebooted or logged off log on how do i do it windows shift e gives you a yellow bar at the top yes exit i3 forgot to mention that in the other movie or you can press windows pause break which provides the text here at the bottom you can lock log out suspend hibernate reboot or shift s shut down so all of these will work to get out of i3 and reboot it and as you can see our icon team has been uh, used and arc red has been used so that's the way we want to look at our computer um let me think okay next up i wanted to just to point out that this little folder here a folder file has been created and as you can see he just holds the things i have told him i also see that this is working with sans 10 well we in another movie i had to make had um change to noto font the, the standard font from uh, linux mint but that's in the file online so the the github keeps the text online wow let's have a look don't believe just see i don't know we were at installation we skipped step five so this file keeps this name so you can always get inside of it and you can copy it go to the this one and then say done saved control s and then the other one is the dot config file which is in here in here in here and here you have of course the same one and when will it be shown well next time you log on log on so i'm not going to do that now but you know how to change it these were all my scripts i were try testing out voila so that's that um next up was windows 9 for instance you can see that the conkeys are working voila that's good and here are some help shortcuts i've added some more the other day so these are things that can help you so open your terminal mod enter meaning windows enter this is windows enter you don't like this this white color you go to preferences and you can change the look of your image where is it again Solid color is this, that's not it. Transparent background colors, you use colors from system and background. You can change these things, but that's okay. Voila. And then um, Windows Shift Enter gives you a Nemo or a file manager window. You can see there are two now on workspace 8 why because i told in the config that nemo or file manager always comes to this workspace so all these things are predefined and that's how i like it 10 should be spotify and 9 is all my mailing which is open at the moment so i won't click it and here we have an one always Firefox. So that's about it, I think. Uh, let me think of some more. Okay, one thing I want to explain you to you as well is the option to go to. Let's, I'm gonna get rid of the left screen, Windows Shift Q, and then I'm gonna get to i3 and there i want to show you something a config file so anything can be changed i've done a lot of work to make it simpler for you guys dual screen this is for the menu this is for the terminal these are all the fonts 
you can try out here the personal settings and so on so check it out and, and try to figure out what is what and then I just wanted to show you this there are three options option one we are now at i3 blocks it's a, it appears i3 blocks has been activated so if you don't install i3 blocks you have a problem so I will change it that this one will be the normal one Control S if we're gonna change this like this this line will be in effect Control S Windows Shift R check out this line here the status bar it will be changed it's getting the configuration from somewhere else it's getting it from here and you can have also the conky but one of them no one of them not two of them so I always have to do it like this and then reload and this is the look when you run the conky which is a little bit more colors that was the idea okay so it's only changing this line back to this line for instance with this is the normal look well it's not normal it looks uh, personalized let's say I have deleted a lot of stuff so I don't want I don't like so this is already a personalized uh, i3 status bar well I hope you can have uh, you can find your way around in i3 status which is kind of interesting because it uses not much memory and not much i3 or i5 or i7 CPU power. It doesn't use that much. So have fun exploring i3.